being good with money isn't knowledge that we were born with. Most of us have to learn as we go along. How to save, how to budget, how to invest. These are life skills that we all need. Perhaps one of the steepest learning curves when it comes to finance is when we walk the line into adulthood. You might be a student, you might be a graduate, you might just have left school. Whatever your circumstances, you need to know how to save money and build a credit profile. And this week's seven hacks is going to help you do just that. One, crude credit. If you've just finished partying at Freshers Week, the thought of applying for a mortgage couldn't probably be further from your mind. Well, I'm going to be the voice of reason and tell you that you definitely should be thinking about it. Remember that what you do now can have an impact on your credit file. Get registered to vote. Make sure you pay your bills in time and avoid payday loans. Your student loan won't show up on your credit file, just remember to spend it wisely. 2. Tax Haven If you are a student, you can be exempt from council tax. You need to apply for an exemption, and it's only granted if you live with other students. If not, your household may still be eligible for a discount. Don't forget about other discounts that students may be entitled to. Money off eating out, reduced entry to attractions, clothing store discounts can all add up to sizable savings. 3. Scam Sham More than half of students and graduates have been scammed during their time at uni. A survey of 18 to 24 year olds by Lloyds has found. The research found that the average amount lost was £420. Scams vary from bogus loan emails asking for bank details, paying online for goods that never arrive and fake landlords taking deposits. Be very careful. Even if an email looks legitimate, check with the company through their website or social media. Don't click on any links and don't hand over personal information. 4. Over and out Think about your overdraft. If you're a student, it's probably free from charges, but that doesn't mean it's free money, far from it. There's often a sting in the tail when you graduate and charges kick in. Some banks will get graduates a year before they charge for your overdraft, but others hit you straight after graduation. Make sure you know when you can expect charges to apply. If possible, pay off your overdraft before this point. 5. Bank on it Talking of bank accounts, make sure you're getting the best on offer. Of course, you'll want to check interest and charges, but often students or graduate accounts offer bonuses that are worth snapping up. Compare them all and don't be afraid to switch to a better deal. 6. World Your Oyster If you're in your late teens or early 20s, check out travel cards for some great savings. National Rail's 16 to 25 rail card, for example, will give you a third off rail fares for £30 a year. It's a great deal. Bus companies may also offer discounts too, so do your research. 7. Set a budget This crucial piece of advice applies if you're 17 or 70. Set a budget and stick to it. Work out how much money you make every month from earnings, student loans and, if you're lucky, from your parents. Then work out your outgoings, include bills, rent, travel fares and books. Whatever you have left is the limit you can spend each month, so it's wise to know your figures. University might be a great time to learn about your chosen subject, but it's also a perfect opportunity to learn about being in charge of your own finances. And if you're really clever, you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons on money.